Alright, what is going on guys? Pebbles is back again coming at you with the news and uh, we actually got quite a few things. Uh, Soldex, no date given yet. We are going to be getting a, this is, looks like a Chronicle Quest bonus. They are there for Chronicle Quest bonus chapter 3, part either, I think this is part 3, uh, Redux Toshiro, Yur uh, Yuruichi, as well as Fierce Bow Ichigo. Um, okay, I mean, th these banners are usually pretty good for new players, the 5, 10, 15, 20 guaranteed. Uh, honestly, if you're a new player and you don't have any Chronicle Quest bonus characters, this is actually, in my opinion, not a bad banner to put a little bit of orbs in. Maybe 5 steps, maybe 6 if you're new, alright? I, I see a lot of you people rolling your eyes with no orbs intact. If you're new to the game and you've only been doing like 6 to 10 steps without going overboard on any banner, you have orbs. Like, you, you just have orbs. If you've been going full retard on banners and going past like the allocated amount of steps and like cucking yourself non-stop you're a fool like, like simple <laughs> simple as that bro and if you don't think you're a fool bro you either have way too much money to be putting into bleach brave souls and that in which case okay do you do your thing dog? okay do your thing all right so total power is a stat sum so as you see here uh, the total power for your PvP team is not going to be based on attack anymore. It's going to be based on your just overall stats. Um, teams that have like roughly 40k are going to be teams that are pretty much max transcended across the board. So you'll see here, uh, my boy has almost 40k. And I guess that uh, that's going to take into account that they have 0 SP from the uh, gold chappies, right? Because that's going to remove your spiritual pressure. So you'll pretty much be able to tell if a character, if a team is like fully transcended, if they're running like something like 37 to, to 40k uh, total power. So you can avoid those teams as well. Um, issues have been fixed, and unexpected error has occurred. Now I've made a specific, I've made a separate video specifically designed to uh, alleviate this. An unexpected error has occurred. You have a quest pause on another device appeared, even if the player wasn't playing the game on another device. So what would happen is. Um, every now and then someone would accidentally hit begin quest multiple times and after you clear the quest You would get an unexpected error has occurred. You would click ok It would restart your game and then it would act as if you have a quest pause on another device Some people thought that they got their account stolen, etc. No, it's simply just that you accidentally hit begin quest uh, Twice in the time it tried to register the removal of your initial five soul tickets So I don't know if they'll actually fully fix it But uh, hopefully it is fixed because that was a pain and I did get a lot of uh, questions about that during co-op quests and raids of a player you blacklisted um, matched at the same time with you you would both still join the lobby uh, that's gonna apparently patched as well um, I mean blacklisting is kind of a meme if you guys are joining the same room multiple times over and over and over again that means that the host didn't blacklist them so I didn't, don't really see this being a, that much of a problem uh, as compensation for the above issues all players will have five spirit orbs that's nice so we have uh, one fifth of a single. It's glorious. Uh, you'll see here checking character status. Uh, so I guess will you actually be able to check your characters? Uh, let me see. I was doing a little bit of PvP just to test it out. Like you see here, we have the 34k. Uh, my team is 305, 305. Toki is 505. So pretty much. You, wait, I didn't even notice that you can see the the opponent stuff. Yo, I didn't even recognize that, and you can see their gear. Bro, that's oh that makes sense. That, this is definitely gonna make life easy mode. Oh look at this, bro! Free food. But um, okay, that's pretty cool. So you'll actually be able to see your opponent's gear, their transcendence, their links, their link slots. Um, you won't be able to see the transcendence on these links. Ah, uh, Kisuke, you would link slot. Okay, so you do get. <coughs> excuse me. You do get to see if they have link slotted their stuff, um, but you won't be able to, uh, I guess you'll be able to see if they transcended them as well, but you won't see exactly like their stats unless you want to make use of this little uh, trajectory thing where it says your links, you're getting 637 attack, right? So that's pretty cool. You'll actually get to actually see what the character is they're using, their links, whether their links are link slotted, so you can get a basis of like how well built they are if you really need all that. So that's pretty cool. Now going into the modding situation, we would like to reassure all players that we are currently putting a great deal of effort into further strengthening our anti-misconduct systems in order to provide a safe, fair, and enjoyable play experience for everyone. Now, I really hope that they're actually trying, but I'm, I'm not going to lie. The, the things that I've heard is that the data that the mods send to the K-Lab servers aren't modded data, so that's why they haven't been able to actually... Um, 
ban people. Uh, we'll see if they're able to actually set something up so that they can detect it and whatnot. Uh, in particular, we are currently working towards implementing systems to immediately detect misconduct in areas of the game for which we have not previously had automatic detention, detection systems and to automatically issue appropriate warnings for those responsible. So this is probably going to start going towards the people that are doing um, single player content, which uh, that, that'll be interesting. Now, <clears throat> for example, if I go into events, you'll see here like these difficult quests or whatever, like you, you know the daily large scroll quest. Some mods actually allow the ability to do times five runs, which I think that that actually is really unfair. Uh, I know one, <laughs> I know one person that actually does that, and he like they're, they're, he was bragging about like how good like his guild quest scores were, and even though he doesn't mod the guild quest itself, I, I still roast him for it. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, but you're still modding. He's like, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm doing the I'm doing the guild quest legit, and I'm like, if you're doing times five runs on your large scroll quest. You're getting a significant advantage over everybody else who's forced to wait literally five days for what you get done every single day like that's a huge advantage and that's in my opinion still modding guild quests i i personally see it that way if you don't feel like that's modding guild quests that's on you guys like you know i guess that could be opinion based but you're getting a huge advantage because you're able to link slot and transcend characters that most people aren't able to like if I don't have the ability to, like for example, I haven't tra max transcended a lot of characters, even though I have a lot of five of five characters, and I'm not trying to do this as a flex, cause like it's, it's just trying to show here where is it? special move level, right? Like you'll see. Oh, oops. <laughs> uh, well, let's just go by transcendence descending. There we go. So you'll see here that I've only max transcended uh, seven, ten characters, ten characters total, C considering that I have boom boom let's just go by six stars considering that i have uh, I, I don't even know how many five of five characters right like i don't have that many max transcended because i can't afford to just waste a day doing stamina and defense on characters that i don't really take damage with like the only characters that i've actually gone out of my way to max transcend which has hurt my <laughs> which has hurt my guild quest scores because i could have done it I could have used it towards damage towards guild quest is like characters like my ichigo who i literally went out of my way to get stamina and defense same thing with this ichigo candace literally, literally every one of these characters pretty much for the most part unless they're like an auto unit right but uh yeah so i really do think that that's a significant advantage over other players i do think it's unfair but um yeah i mean like that's neither here nor there y'all can take it as you will i'm just speaking my opinion uh in particular we're currently working towards uh here we go the brave souls team does not condone cheating we will continue to take steps to combat misconduct in the game however please be aware that it may take some time before we can implement certain measures and that the nature of some type of misconduct may mean that we will not be in the position to provide details of the exact nature of the systems we implement um that's fine i personally think that they shouldn't tell us what they're implementing because that'll uh, as as long as it doesn't register legit players as modders, I'm 100% fine with them keeping it all in the dark and everything just completely, you know, like, as long as everything's done appropriately. Because for those that don't remember, uh, back in the day with Guild Quest, uh, eventually it got to the point where people were scoring incredibly well and they were being marked as if they modded or they were cheating. And then what that had did was, uh, what that did, excuse me, uh, they reset Guild Quest scores um of legit players which was really unfair which <laughs> which is kind of funny because um they deleted the guild quest scores of like a bunch of people that i know do it 100 percent legit and that <laughs> my guild ended up getting it to s league because fortunately none of none of our our people ended up getting hit with that so uh yeah <laughs> we ended up getting into s league for the first time because k-lab decided to hit everybody else <laughs> Oh, even if they were doing legit scores, I was that, that that stuff had me dying, bro. I'm just like, oh, nice. We finally made it to Esli because Kayla decided to screw everyone else over. Uh, we would like to take this opportunity to remind everyone that Brave Souls is a community. Please follow the terms of use and maintain appropriate fair behavior so as to not ruin uh, the game for other people. Uh, that, that's a fair point. Like I, I, like I said, I personally don't care about people modding epic grades. I get that you get a significant advantage because you get... Um, large scrolls uh, and uh, BBS tickets and all that stuff like in a faster time but like I feel like that's a lot different than doing times five runs in something that normally you can only do times one every single day like 
if you have the time, like, like say you have the time, you can farm out like a lot of the large scrolls in a day without modding, but you can't do more than one run in the large scrolls without like the the modding situation, right? And I'm, I'm not I'm not saying to mod. I'm not uh, what is it called advocating that because I, I don't think that you should. But like, if you're gonna do it, understand that you're doing it at the risk of your main account, which is something that. I, I put personally way too much time into I'd rather just not have the resources available to me feel you feel me but uh, I'm gonna leave it at that that's grind on catch up premium stay blessed like comment subscribe and hope y'all enjoyed this video I'm sorry that this video is a lot longer than normal like considering the news I feel like this is more of a discussion thing than uh than just a news video but I mean I, I'll leave it at that <laughs> yeah have a blessed day and I'll see y'all in the next one peace